what is sleep for, do you think? That's another unknown. So in other words, I have some ideas about that, and people have had all kinds of crazy ideas about what sleep is for, but it remains a biological mystery. Um, one idea is that during sleep, actually, you are progressively pruning down your brain. You accumulate lots of experiences which translate into connections between your neural strengthening when you're awake. That's how you remember things. And then when you go to bed, the brain cannot afford just going on adding experiences onto experiences onto experiences. It saturates like, like anything else and becomes too expensive to drive, so to speak. And during the night, it prunes things down. It has to let go of things. And probably that's how we forget many things. Mm -hmm. In fact, you know, if I ask you all the details about what happened today and I ask you again tomorrow, your account is going to be much shorter tomorrow, yeah. as we all know. So you forget lots of things, but you will consolidate the stuff that's important. So with one idea about what sleep might be doing is actually then to counteract the constant accretion and accumulation of memories and experiences. How did your brain know what them. to consolidate? How did your brain know what to hang on to? There seem to be so many stimuli we have during the day. At night, if you're pruning what you don't need, how do you know you're not pruning the most important thing? Well, how does the brain know? You might be pruning some very important thing. Uh, what, uh, what seems to be the case, though, is just like with learning, you tend to retain what fits in your own life history in the uh, sum total of your past memories. So in other words, it's the information that fits, that is coherent, that is the one that sticks, and the rest is sort of flows away. What's an example forgotten. of coherent or fits, I'm, what would be? So you typically tend, and when experiments are done, to remember the things that are consistent with your image of yourself. Typically, you remember the good things about yourself or the very bad things, which are the ones threatening your sense of self, okay? But all the rest, sort of a detail and goes away. Mm -hmm. You also remember the important stuff, the gist. That's one of the you know, secrets of memory. It's always the gist of the situation that you're remembering. The details go away very quickly. Mm -hmm. And it has to do, in a way, what, what truth is. You know, there, is, there are two classic notions of truth that uh, Bertrand Russell, for instance, mentioned. One is truth is correspondence to the facts. That's what we all think. And one is coherence. Truth is what fits in the overall scheme of how I see the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, our own memory, I think, sticks usually more with coherence. It has to fit with our own life history than with the facts. 